get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we go see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. The Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting. And his faithfulness to all generations. Bless be unto God. Let us pray. God, you have told us that we are the salt of the earth. And if we should lose our saltiness, where will the earth get its preservation? We are the light of the world. And if our light goes out, then the world is in darkness. Heavenly Father, our Abba Father, we approach you now, Lord, through the blood of Jesus Christ, our Savior, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. You, your word said we can come boldly to the throne of grace. And at this time, Lord God, we just want to return thanks to you for the souls we are remembering today. You gave them to us, oh God. We didn't have a time limit. You knew, you knew when they were in their mother's belly. You knew the day when they would be born. You knew, oh God, all that's going to come between the birth and the death and all that little dash. You know what was going to happen to them. And then the day came when you took them from us. And we weep and we mourn and we grieve. And even now sometimes, Lord, when we think about them, the tears roll down our cheek. But Lord, we are so glad that they are in your keeping. They are in your keeping, Lord. And they are resting in your bosom. And so today, as we remember each and every one of them, our mother, Perlene Wilby, Sapo, she's fondly called. Miss Gina, Mrs. Enid Wilby, another mother that you have brought into our lives. We thank you, Lord. We are thankful for the lives of our sister. Merle, and for our brothers, Ted and Roy. We give you thanks for their lives and for what they bring to us. We remember Carlton too, Lord, who didn't stay too long on this earth. You loan, us to, loan him to us, and you took him back ever so quickly. But Lord, we thank you for the things that they brought into our lives that we can remember and we can be joyful. And so on this day, Lord, when things look like they are not going as we wanted them, Lord, we had planned this so well and thought that it would go smoothly. But Lord, anything that you have done is well done. And even the sunshine on my face right now, I'm grateful for, Lord, because we could be having rain, but you sent us sunshine instead. We thank you. Thank you for every one of these, our neighbors and family and friends who are gathered here, Lord. I want you to bless them specially and to remind them in days ahead how wonderful it was for them to come at this time, and to help us to remember her family members. And so, Lord, we put the program into your mighty hand. We don't know what happened to Mr. Powell since he got his, his, his bus or his van punctured. 
the wheel punctured. We don't, we haven't heard from him and what is going on. But that too, Lord, we put in your hand. And when it happens, it happens. That you will bring them safely to this place. And that all will be done to honor you and to glorify your precious name. Everyone that is on this program who will speak today, give them clarity, O oh God. Help them to speak out and to remember their loved ones. And we commit everything, everything in your hand, even the food that is being prepared so lovingly. We ask your blessing on it. In Jesus' precious name, and all your people say, Amen. Amen. And all who love the Lord say, Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. We give you all the glory. We worship you, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Now this I say. Brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We, we shall not all see, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, and we shall be changed. For this, for this cor cor corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this so when so when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, age, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, O oh, who give us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, may be love, brethren be steadfast, immovable, always around, around it in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in the Lord. These are the words of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Heaven's Jubilee. Some glad morning we shall see, Anthony. in the air coming after you and me joy in ours to share what rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise heading for that jubilee yonder in the skies oh what singing oh Twinkling of an eye, change with them to be. 
All the living saints who fly to the jubilee. Oh, what singing, singing, what a oh, shouting, shouting, on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. Oh, what glory, 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 hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior yonder in the skies. When we all the heavenly hosts, we begin to sing. Singing in the Holy Ghost, now the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be. Praising Christ through ages long, heavens to believe. Oh, what singing, singing, what oh, a day of shouting, shouting, on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. Oh, what Glory, 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 hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior yonder in the sky. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air, coming after you and me, joy is ours to share. What rejoicing that will be when the saints shall rise. Heading for the jubilee, yonder in the skies. Oh, what singing, singing, what a day of shouting, shouting. On that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. Oh, what glory, 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 hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior, yonder in the skies. Seems that now I almost see all the sainted dead Rising for the jubilee that is just ahead In the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be All the living saints to fly to the jubilee Oh, what singing, singing, what a day of shouting on that happy morning when we all shall gladly rise. Oh, what glory, 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 hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior, may up in the skies. When with all the heavenly hosts, we begin to sing. Singing in the Holy Ghost, all the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall rise. Praising Christ who ages long, heavens do believe. Oh, what singing, singing, what, what a day, day of shouting, shouting on, on that happy morning when we all shall rise and sing. Rise. Oh, what glory, glory, glory. Oh, oh, oh.
rich in Beulah land, what a glory that will be. I want a revival in my soul. I must apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. I must apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. My soul, I must apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. Send down the rain, send down all the rain on us, send down the God's rain to wash us out, Lord. Send down the rain. Send down the rain, send down the gospel rain. I want a revival in my soul. I want a revival in my soul. I want to apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. Send down the rain, send down the rain, send down the gospel rain. Send down the rain, send down the rain, send down the gospel rain. Amen. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of. Many of the blessings that you give unto me, bless you overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. For many of the blessings that you gave unto me, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Sing it out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Many are the blessings that you give unto me, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. For many are the blessings that you give unto me. Oh, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Hallelujah. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. For many are the blessings that you give unto me, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Many of the blessings that you give unto me, blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you for your love to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have you ever thought of me? I want to thank you, Lord. Blessings that you give unto me, blessings of
Dr. Paris Lindy Bromwell to remember her mama. Mrs. Linda Pearl Brady will be. And we're going out to church. We're going to march out there and the saints go marching in. And we're going to put that headstone on and we're going to rejoice that she is free from all pain and care and she don't have to bother with the social media <laughs> and get confused and all of those things that would, would confuse even us who are in this age, she has. She would not be thankful. <laughs> she would just go along with it, but I know she would be confused. So I remember Mama. <laughs> See, my mother. Sapo and Furling, Sister P, Linda Pearl, will be Mama. She is somewhere around the throne of God. The children, I want to tell you especially that hadn't it been for Mama, who set the example for all of us. None of us would be here now singing. We would be somewhere with those ugly situations that are yuck, 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 all those yuck, yuck. But I thank God for my mother, Linda Pearl Wilby. Didn't have a lot of money, but she had a lot of love, and she rich. knew God. And as a result of the love that she had, in her heart and the love from God. She brought us, all of us up, everyone. Sister Merle who is gone, we rejoice that she is around the throne of God too. My brother Roy and Victor somewhere in England and Rose in, in Georgia. And Gloria is here preaching the gospel and I am here on fire for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Cecil is somewhere but we're going to right here, here. The right, right time. here, my dear I sister. Told him. We'll also be spreading the gospel. And, <laughs> Pope Chan, and Brian and Keith, all of us were brought up together to worship and serve God. And it was through Mama. Never had no holy pop gadgets, TV, and iPad, and little pad, and no knee pad. Because all the iPads take away the knee pad. So nobody knows about knee pad anymore. My mama knew knee pad. And because she knew knee pad, that's why we are here today to worship God and to say thank you for a legacy that cannot be compared to any. That legacy came through Linda Pearl Wilby. As I was at church on Sunday and listened to the message, I began to think of my mother and I said, Lord, when I begin to talk, you know, my brother and sister was going to say, shut up, Karis, and that's enough. Can't done. Can't done talk about my mother. Can't done talk about my mother. Want to tell you something? She had love that she gave to all of us, and we had no choice. Even Cecil had no choice but to go to church. We knew nothing else. Yard, church, school, yard, church, school. We never know no party. We never know no jege jege and all of these nonsense that is going on now. All we knew was going to church and learning about God. My mother and my dad, who is over there now, would not have left us. We had to go to church. We had no choice. And until we were big and left home, we had no choice. Church was a part of our upbringing. And I want to thank God today that as a result of that, all of us can be proud 
of uh, non comparing heritage that has been left by our mama. Some call her Sophie, some call her Aunt Pearlie, mm. some call her Sister Pearlie, some call her Sister P, some call her Grandma. Some of you now calling her Great Grandma. There she is, beautiful woman. We call her Mama. And we love her so much. And as I began, I'm going to close. She is somewhere around the throne of God. God bless Amen. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to light yeah, candles for her, but we're going to do it when we get out there. All right? Somewhere around the throne of God, I keep searching and searching. Until I find her, she is somewhere around the truth. And now, it's time to remember one of our brothers who died just after Mama. That year, 1971, was mm, a traumatic year for all of us. Because not, we, were, we were thinking of sending our mama to a convention, Easter convention in Kingston. And we bought up all kind of goodies, nice clothes and hats and shoes and all the other unmentionables. And she had a, a, a suitcase full, not Dulcimina now, nice suitcase full of stuff that she was going to spend three days in Kingston. But God said, come home, come home. She was exhorting, giving an exhortation at church that Sunday night when the Lord said, you know what? No more breath. Come home. Come home. And he alone knows why he took her. We grieved. I was in college doing homework. <laughs> doing what, what we call it in college now, not homework. But, um, coursework. Coursework. Something like that. And then I had to come home couldn't believe that my mother was gone. Right now, our, our, our nephew, his wife, is experiencing the same thing. Because yesterday, yesterday morning, this morning, yesterday morning, his wife's mother passed away. And so we, 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 we are sending condolence to Vivia and her family that's why they are not out here now, but we, we understand the pain and the grieving that they are going through. We are just um, a month, a month later, just a month later, that we had our brother that my sister is going to talk about now. Just a month later, he passed from life into death. But as our theme says what? Well, love is stronger than death. And the scripture reading, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is your victory? You have no victory. My sister is going to tell it all right now. So Mrs. Mrs. Norma Evans, would you please remember your brother, Kelvin Lloyd Fraser? Well, I'm going to start by saying, honestly, I cannot remember Ted when I was young. I honestly cannot remember him. When I remember, it was 1959 when Alva School broke up and Julie started her school and I went to Kingston to live with Ted to go to commercial school. It was 1959, so I spent two years with him before I went to England. And what I can remember about him is that he was very funny, always making jokes, he was a very neat and clean person. I remember one Friday I did his laundry. I ironed about six shirts when he came in. And for that day, he wore three of the shirts. I don't know why he had to go out. He wore a shirt. He came back, he changed, he went into another shirt. I said, no, come on. I'm only a little girl. Anyway, that was one of the memories. Another memory that I, I remember of him is he just loves soup, soup of any type. His favorite 
favorite soup was fish soup. I had to go and get the sprats, cook the sprats, strain it, make his soup, and he was happy. Um, unfortunately, after I left for England, I never get to see Ted again. Because I came to Mama's funeral, and he didn't like funeral. So apparently he came down before I um, arrived from England. I was supposed to go to Kingston to see him on the Tuesday. And for some reason, we couldn't get to go on the Tuesday. Unfortunately, he took the day off and didn't get to see him. I went back to England not seeing him after 10 years. It was 10 years I was in England then. And only to here, this was March, May, that he died. I'm telling you, I don't know. Because I thought any, if anything you regret is that day when I changed my mind. And the worst part of it is, no one has a picture of Ted. We cannot find a picture. So if you know of anyone who has one, we cannot find a picture of, of him, none whatsoever. I mean, the closest I'm coming to him is, I saw, when I saw Barack Obama, if you look at Barack and you know Ted, I can see a resemblance. And I've said it to someone and they said, that's right. So that's the closest I'm going to come to, to Ted. So I'm not going to be longer. And um, unfortunately, I did not get to spend any time really to know him more than those two years. But I hope to God that I don't know what the situation was. I hope he's close by my sister and my mother. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Steve. And I'm going to give you a candle to light for that 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 candle candle. For your brother. Please I Thank you. The, the monument that yes. is in front of um, Shirne, oh. please put the candle on it for me. Yes. Carlton didn't spend much time with us. He's oh. sister my second child. Remember me? Maybe not. He took sick. First year of life. Beautiful, beautiful baby. Oh, he looked like a cherub. And that is a picture you should be taking now, but it didn't come. But he was such a sweet darling and he took sick. So sick that we had to ask Aunt Doris, Papa's sister, that we call Mama, to take care of Carlton. And he thrived out in Alva. He got nice and ruddy and fat and sweet looking. I mean, just like those little cherubs you see all around on, on postcards and, and so on. You know, cherubim and, and, and um, seraphim and cherubs. That's how beautiful he was. And then I went to Canada that summer. And when I came back, everybody was clearing throat and being sorry for me and I I just knew right away that Carlton was gone. He came back over here, the sickness came back, and he was taken from us. But I remember that sweet little baby, and I will always remember Carlton. And we have a cherub that we are gonna place on that step there to remember him, and underneath to remember our brother Ted. So I know Sister Merrill had a lot of pain when, when Carlton went, and those who remember him, but God knows best, and we just say thank you, Lord, for lending him to us, because the memory is so precious to me, very precious. He was my baby, and I loved him so much. So thank you again for helping me remember Carlton. May God, I know he's there blossoming in heaven. I want to just give God thanks. Amen. And Anthony, it's going to be your turn now, honey. You're going to, you're going to remember your mom. This is Enid Wilby. And just to read the, the, um, the stone for you as you 
you are not able to, to see it. It says, with love, we remember Enid Wilby, devoted wife and mother, November 30th, 1942 to December 5th, 1994. Who knew that Angel lived among us? That's our tribute to her. And you will remember her now. As I can remember my mom, Tina will be. She you want to come up a little closer, Anthony? Keep coming straight. What is that doing? What, coming straight. Okay. Until yeah. you find the gravel on the your right. Yeah, there yeah, right, you yeah. go. All yeah. right. She was such a loving person. Um, she would um. She would take everybody as her own. She would not separate. She was a genuine person. She was down to earth. She was um of everybody people. Yes. She would um you know, she would associate herself with everybody who she can. She was so jovial. She would um get up in the morning and especially on in the morning where a program was coming on on the radio and he and my first would um, wake up in the one o'clock in the night and they would make coffee and listen to that program until five o'clock. Mm. And then I was there listening to them and yeah, yeah, gee, now wake up, program start. <laughs> and then, you know, this my first get up and go and just two cup of coffee and then they were there listening to the program. And you know, she would get up in the morning, she did have a lot of Fall up by the cook there, and she always said to me, "Young son, you know she. W I was her, uh, would say one of her uh, men, son, you know, because I don't know, but she just feel just loving me more than I say really more than others, you know, but she confident on me. So when she have a little problem, she would call me. So um, she loved mango, she loved the big juicy mango. Then so she said, young son." I can't go past Paul Cook now because I don't want to share it with the mango. I want to share it. So, so we, would, we would go up there and a lot of fall. We would see the fall and run coming, some fly up on her hands, some in the pants, some pick her up on her feet and so forth. And we feed the fall and then she cut the mango. She take the two sides and give me the seed. That's where I love so much. And we were there talking. She said, young son, now tell us something, you know. But if you had a job, no, make you fly out of your mouth, you know. And I said, okay, mommy, I'm not going to say it. And she would tell me any little thing. My mom, I never no noticed her um, sad because she's a jovial person. That's the truth. Yeah. And when my person was working, um, somebody at Ballantyne, she would say to me, young son, I cannot go to Ballantyne today, so I'm going to send her to, um, to cook for the men. She would mix the flour, put it into a plastic bag and when I go over there, my first would look the food, chop up the yam, stick them, and then I come cook them and them lunch and then we come home back. And she and her used to travel on those market truck, we go to Montego Bay, um there out by Laxi out by Alva there, there's a little shop there, you know, it is not there anymore. We would stay there so and wait for the truck. One night we were there waiting and all night we just to hear that the truck stuck up by Mount um, Grand's Mountain down into a gully and we have to stay there all night and wait until that market truck come in the morning and we were there and one day and um, knowing that I was sick with my eyes at that time so we were coming up from Montego Bay and when we were coming up um, to the street there she said Young son, step up now. And when I step up right in, so there was some a lady was selling um utensils, knife and fork and glass and those things. And when she looked inside, that was pure man in the car. She said, No, 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 let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> let me out. The driver now started to push because she was a person that said, No, I'm not driving. And the truck again to Kingston because my mother, if she's going out and 
she does not want to in her shirt to put my mom there because she don't have any luck with the female. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ
The street never leave me. I went to Kainan. It's the first. It's the first I ever went to this place. There is a little old lady work there. And when I'm going to the hill, she said, I hear the lady start to get in a spirit and say, Where are you going? Where are you going? And Further on mm -hmm. in the week, I'm um, the little old lady. Um, said to me, say, young son, say yes, ma'am. She said, oh, your mother stay. She said, your mother, um, she, she shot. You say yes. She brown. She said, you say yes. I'm not here plot any. She catch up in your area in one and I say yes. You say, you know, so she there with you? She, she, she follow you, come up here now. I may ask her what she doing. She said, I'm guiding you. Oh, and she said, um, she said to him, she to her, I said, um, you did too near. You did too near him. And then she said, okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just guiding you. And mm -hmm. that is the end of it. Amen. Right. Oh, I remember, Mama. Be not happy. to call on my we have the big brother that represents the family. Big brother. Come and talk about your your other big brother. I said then I'm Wilby and the shock remember his brother our brother Herman Roy Wilby. Can I remember my big brother about wow. but I can't remember my big brother. I know that my big, big brother was a very hard working guy. When he gets up in the morning, he just loved to go to the bush. And he will work right up until sunset. And then you see him coming in back with his, his clean clothes that he left with. Coming back red, red, red. And then my mom would be the one who would have to wash them. But she, she didn't mind. <coughs> she loved to do those things. Wash. But um, Big Brother Rai, may soul rest in peace. He used to work with um, his uncle, Uncle Gauntlet, Uncle Gauntlet Brady, those who know the name, HP. And he, he loved to drive the truck. And he would drive the truck from Kingston to Higginsland, from Higginsland to right around Murray Mount and all those places to pick up lumber. And drive to town with after the lumbers of the sod from your year, there was the sawmill. And he would drive that truck fully loaded with lumber to Kingston. But unfortunately, one day, one of the trucks that he was driving turned over with him. So what, fully up in the bush. And um, he didn't die. Can't remember if he didn't, didn't even get a scratch. Because when I inquired about him, he said, okay. So I was shocked to know that a truck go over that gully in those trees and nothing to brother I. <laughs> then I know that God was protecting him. So brother I, last time I heard, I saw him, he had a nice stock right up at the gate there. And um, I left to Kingston. <clears throat> but um, why oh, know he passed off? He was he did have um, high blood pressure, but he didn't know about that because he still go to um, Valentine every day just the same to do his farming and. One that morning when he two passed on, understand that he get up very early. He never do something as 
jumping right over that place there, sir. At High Park there. Step over. And was on his way over to Ballantyne. <laughs> and when he reached out by Shelly Peace, somewhere out there, he sat down and said, well, I feel tired, you know. And that's how he passed out. Mm -hmm. If everybody know Brother Rai, he was a peaceful guy. You yeah. would not hear him curse a battle to anyone. He just laughed. And said, you can't go on, man. <laughs> Brother Rai, your memory lives on. The brothers will lay candles to his memory. Sean is going to step up to the plate, to the plate suddenly called on. So stay with him if he doesn't say it all like the others have done. But I know he's going to outdo them all. Come on, Sean. Talk about your mom. Yes, R. Kelly, do your thing. Take a deep breath, Sean. I'm going to start start him off so that he can get the momentum as we we uh, move along. Our sister Mary was was our mommy, because even though mom mama was there, she sort of put down the rules, but sister Mary enforced them. You know, we had to be tidy. We had she taught us how to be clean. I, every day when I look in the mirror and see my shoulders up. I say thanks to Sister Merle because she makes sure that our shoulders were straight, that we stood up nicely, we had good postures. Even now at 65 year old, people are asking me how I keep my postures in my sister. Her tight hair, fixing my, my uniform blouse must be right against my neck. She would pull down that, that um, blouse and make sure that I'm standing straight. When I come from school, I must look like when she sent me to school. And she was going to school too. But she dressed all of us. She made sure all of us had, had a little piece of cloth in our, in our hand or in our school bag, if we had school bag, to wipe off our foot when we reach school. Because we shouldn't go in with our dirty feet. We didn't have, sorry children, we did not have shoes. We walked barefooted to school. In the gravel. In the gravel. Right? Stone, and that's stone. true. <laughs> and so she would give us a little piece of cloth. So when we get to school, we get a little water to wash it and dry it so our feet are nice and clean. That's the kind. And that is how she has been all along. Everything, she makes sure that we are doing good. She knows I love Kalaloo, for example, the little fine leaf Kalaloo. And don't worry about it. She find it every time. So... <laughs> She always find it. I don't know where she gets it, but she always find a little fine leaf callaloo to steam for me so that I could have it to eat. Soon as I come from Kingston, she would have my callaloo. From America, she has my callaloo. Wonderful woman of God who loved God with all her heart. There were a lot of obstacles in her way, but guess what? It made her stronger. It made her stronger. And we just praise God for our sister. Her favorite verse was Job 14, 14. And her son, her eldest son, Oral, asked me to put that on her headstone. He said, Mom, that verse of scripture that you read at her funeral, Job 14, 14, please put that on her headstone. And I just... Um, what the word, Dr. Dr. Carries? Condense. Um, condense it. Thank you, Sister Norma. 
And yeah. instead of doing the whole, whole um, verse, that when Job says, all my appointed time, I must wait until my change come. All I did, if Brother Carl could stand up for me so I could see the stone. <laughs> it said, in cherished memories of Dulcimer, will be Edwards, December 7, 1940 to June 2nd, 2013. My change has come. My change has come. And we know that she's out of pain, no more cancer, no more flu, no more pneumonia, no nothing. Just joy unspeakable as she rests in Jesus' bosom. And we just thank God for her. Blessed be the name. Amen. Say something, Sean. Yes, I love that. Thanks for everyone to come and share the moment. It no, doesn't have a thing. Mama Merle was a great mother. She was a great sister. Yes. She was a great grandmother. She was a great grand great man. Yeah. And she's a great aunt. Mother Merle. Mother Merle. So as I said, she did very much for us. I, I can't stand say thanks to the Lord very much for all that she has done for me. Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So as I said, give thanks to everyone else <coughs> for doing this wonderful mm -hmm. thing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Look at you. Amen. Are you going to say a word for mom? Light a candle for mommy. Now she's all choked up. This candle is in honor of Oral Forest, her firstborn. I'm lighting this candle for him. <laughs> it's lit. And I'm placing it. Come put a candle on. on to do that litany love is stronger than death everybody take your 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 program and look for the litany love brought you here love brought you here and when they died you were here too but you continue to remember them because love is stronger than death holy god we have come here to thank you for the sacredness of life. God who is love, we thank you for the lives of those who have passed on into eternity. God of comfort, we recognize the hold fear absence has left among us. 
the horns of missing mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, grandparents and friends. And I And um, I forgot Elgin. I promised to lay a, light a candle for Elgin Edward Edwards, who is in Canada, who was not able to come. And Orville is now preaching about us, and I should have placed a candle there for him as well. We do believe that love is as strong as death. Over the page. Therefore, I ask you to share the gifts those men and women and men brought to us. Gifts of love, gifts of laughter, gifts of watchfulness. Anybody want to shout out something to Sister Mar that you remember of her? My Our second courage. mother. Second mother, courage. Or my hair. <laughs> a loving sister. A brother Roy. I'm the daddy that, you know? Claim Jeanette. Please take the second one. Claim Jeanette. Claim Jeanette. Claim Jeanette. Claim Jeanette. Claim Jeanette. Claim Jeanette. She was a long friend of mine. Of Silla. And so, for Miss Good. And for Miss Gina. My hair. Okay. Beautiful. Always my loving mother. Always, mother. always loving and kind. Another loving mother. Yes. Gift giving God. Those who have gone ahead of us, touch us across the distance by the various gifts they have left behind for us. Keep her memory. Risen Savior. We are a resurrection people who carry on our journey, strengthened by your love and our love for one another. And our love for one another. We are going to march out to church, and that's how there we will put the, the candle for Papa. We will light. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Sure. And I so appreciate you because, because you were right here with me this morning. I, I felt so alone at 12 o'clock because I did say the, the service was going to begin at 12. So even though a lot of things were not in place, I stood there and it was such a joy to see my cousin come and hug me and um, just stood with me at the, the start of this 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 um, service. And when I was I broken down and, and was crying, she was the one who hugged me and reminded me that God had already given me peace. So I can cry, I can break down. So cause you're always there. At school, at play, every time you're calling and you're there. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. I love you all. We are going to march to um, Louis Armstrong when the saints go marching in. And those who are bass, sing it out so that we can go out to church and um, pay homage to our mother. That was actually one of Ted's, that was Ted's favorite. I remember that now.
cousin. We had two, we had two others that died during that same time as well. Um, was schooling from Alva, his grandson, was killed in, in Toronto. And we, we are protecting his girlfriend, protecting her honor. And he was stabbed to death. I remember all those family members with sadness, 
and send condolences to all of them. And we remember them in prayer as we go about our daily activities. And so we want to say thank you to Mr. Powell. We are grateful that Mom's own is put up and we are going to light those candles. Um, Ashley. 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 Ashley has the candle. And so what I ask him, Sweet and Brian, I'm near to her. Would you put down those two the ones with the um cross. with the cross? The two boys there. Jamal and Jervis. Jarvis and Jamal, will you take those two candles? And small red. No, small red and small white. They are going to be lit up tonight. They are already lit. Do we have any small ones? Are there any more small ones? No. No, that's it. From this end. You from this end. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. No, man. No, man. They're supposed to touch that. They are just going to put the candles in front. Hold up, Mama, dear, now, sweetie. So that, no, don't hold it before your face. Your pretty face has to show. Alright? So let them take your picture now. Nice big smile. That's your grandma. There you go, all your paparazzi. Take a picture and take mama so that we can have a picture. And so, as we give God thanks, I want to thank you too for all you have, you have contributed to this program. Let us, let us pray. Please stop walking about, photographers. You can stop for a minute. Thank you. God of our eternal, we are going to say this in unison, please, everybody. It's the line. There's no number. <coughs> we'll go to the, the middle back. page. It's the middle page. Yeah. No. It says it's the middle closing of the pro prayer no. in no. unison. The center. It's not the center. The center. You'll find Thank it you. once you get there. Thank you. Yes, to the left of the center. Closing prayer. And we all say amen. amen. That means you found the page. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. God of our eternal home, may our lives be enriched by the good examples and legacies of those who remember today. May our lives be found worthy by you, O oh God. So that when the final roll call comes, we too will be embraced by your grace and led into your eternal and joyous presence. Until that day, enable us to work for your kingdom here on earth and make a difference in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And you can read the acknowledgement at the back where we want to thank you all our friends and family for your love and prayers, your presence here today, support over the years for you for their time and, and your time and commitment today. God bless you all. Thank you. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the trumpet of the chorus sounds and turns to be no more, and the morning breaks in courage and bright and fair. When the same will crash together over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there.